Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Bermanology on Letterman and Row. I am your host, Jeremy Birmingham. I am joined today by Ohio State's newest 2021 football commitment. His name is Jesse Mirko. He's all the way over there in Australia. And Jesse, thanks for taking time. And welcome, I guess, to a new kind of football for you, right? Yeah, it's, um, it's obviously yeah, a bit different for me and been a busy last couple of days. And um, yeah, looking forward to what lies ahead. And yeah, thanks for having me on the show. Let's just start there, Jesse. I mean, obviously, you're not the first uh, guy to make the transition from Australian rules football to uh, American rules football and not the first at Ohio State. Cameron Johnston, who spent uh, a couple of years in Columbus kicking the, the ball, uh, is one of the more popular players to come out of Ohio State in the last decade or so. How did this happen for you? I mean, what, how did you go from a guy who four months ago wasn't punting to now punting but doing it and, and expected to be doing it at, at one of the highest levels in the world? Yeah, so obviously, um, like most of the guys growing up playing Australian rules football my whole life, um, basically punting the football is the biggest part of our sport. Um, and then the pro kick's always been here in the background. Just didn't really know, to be honest, if, if I had what it took to be a part of it and make it over to the US and um, went over on a holiday towards the end of uh, last year and watched the game in Kentucky uh, with one of my best mates who's cousins with Max Duffy over there and um, just thought, yeah, this is awesome. I think I can do this. and and thought I'd give it a go and yeah lucky enough to land here and have Cam as a mentor and Cam has been awesome so far and um, can't wait to yeah, follow his footsteps. You know uh, I think that people wonder if anyone can be a kicker right like can anyone punt but is it something where you kind of know you have it or you don't I mean how do you how do you feel like when you're when you're a young guy uh, when you're a bloke I don't know when you're a young chap yeah, like, yeah. how do you know that you're like, hey, this could be my future? Yeah, uh, so again, like I said, growing up playing the, the sport where we kick or punt a football um, all game, it's just one of those things. It's a, it's a major skill, obviously, for us. Um, and doing it since you're a small child, um, I've obviously known I could kick a football in our, our sport, obviously. Um, but yeah, making that transition, I wasn't too sure. I wasn't too sure about hang time and distance and accuracy and whatnot. But um, once I yeah, got to experience it in person and, and have a closer look, I could yeah, kind of take a, a grasp and go, yeah, look, I think I can do this. And um, I think what, what I know I can perform at is yeah, good enough to, to make it over in the U.S. When you're talking about hang time and accuracy and distance and that kind of stuff, you know, you, you're coming to Ohio State, and I'm not sure exactly what you know about Ohio State football over there. Uh, it's a place with very high expectations. You, you're now committed to the Buckeyes, which is a big deal. And, and most people who follow the team haven't seen you kick. They don't know what you could do. Can you give us a little idea about hang time, about distance? Like, what's your personal best in, in those types of uh, um, in categories? Terms of, yeah, in terms of personal best and whatnot, I'm not too sure. Obviously, um, we kick a fair bit and um, we try and get some film and whatnot along the way. Um, yeah, when it comes to spirals, just trying to kick a big ball and um, not only just a big ball, I guess, directionally, left, right, um, we get put in different scenarios um, at Pro Kick Australia, where obviously I've come from, where, where most of the guys come from. And, um, and then obviously on top of that as well, we, uh, we focus on those going in pooch punts, I guess, the, uh, the, Australian, the Australian kick, the drop punt, um, which probably one of my biggest strengths, I think, uh, landing the ball, yeah, as close to the to the one yard line or goal line as I can, I guess. And um, that's something I'll focus on going forward as well. And um, being at a school with such a great offense, hopefully when I do have to go out on the field, we are in a pretty decent field position and we're not too far backed up and I can yeah, um, put us in the best position possible. There were, I think, only 15 teams in college football here that punted less than Ohio State a year ago. So I don't think that you're going to need to go in and be punting all the time. But, you know, when you're talking about the adjustments that you're making, not even on the field, but off the field, what do you think? I mean, knowing that your life is changing very considerably in the next year, what do you think the biggest adjustments are going to be for you? You're a guy who's you're 23 years old. You're not a typical college freshman. So you've lived, you've lived life a little bit. You've played professional sports, essentially. Yeah. How do you think that that helps you as you make the move over to the United States? Yep, uh, obviously playing in a semi-professional environment in Australia um, as a young kid, basically like a freshman at college, 
since I was 16, 17, 18. Um, gives you a taste of yeah, that professionalism that's needed in an environment like this, um, in a serious organisation. And, and I think that's obviously prepared me pretty well and helped get my body right. And obviously there's a lot to improve on and, and the guys at strength and conditioning um, can, can help me do that as well and help me improve my game, um, not only on the field, in the weight room and whatnot. Um, and yeah, I feel like off the field, it's, it's just those little things and learning the game as I go. Um, I've always watched a bit of football, so kind of have the basics down, but I'm sure I'll yeah, get stuck into it a bit more once it gets closer to the time. How did, how did you meet Ohio State? How did you meet Matt Barnes? How did you meet Ryan Day? And how did those first conversations go? And did you feel yeah. like personality fit? It was definitely the right spot for you. Yeah, so that's um, one of the main things, obviously, the guys, Nathan Chapman and John Smith at Pro Kick Australia help with. Um, they, they have a plan for us um, pretty early on. And, and it's not just about ability, it's about character and, and where they think um, I'll, you should fit. And, and if you can handle, obviously, certain schools and scenarios and what kind of yeah, person you are, basically. So um, I believe, uh, obviously, the school got in contact with Pro Kick and um, I'm not too sure exactly when and from then on. Um, Coach Barnes was introduced to myself, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, just speaking to Coach Barnes on and off for a little bit. Um, he's been great so far and, and been, um, yeah, a real good bloke. Um, can't complain there. And then in the last week or so, um, got to meet the rest of the staff and, and Coach Day. And again, he was awesome as well. And, uh, yeah, just can't wait to get stuck into it with him. For, for punters, you know, your, your whole job is to – the hope is that you're never on the field. Yeah. Is, yeah, is that is that a big change for someone like yourself who, you know, playing Australian rules football, you're, you're kind of one of the, the key parts on the, on the team all the time. How, how do you think that you'll adjust to that? Yeah, again, that's just going to come down to working on becoming yeah, super consistent and, and ready to go uh, whenever you're called upon. Like you said, you might not kick a ball all day. You might kick one, one in a game. You might have 11 kicks one game. Um, obviously just depends on how things are going and just staying prepared so when yeah obviously it comes by time I can perform and, and get the job done um, and again yeah being consistent you never know your, your first kick in college football might be from inside your own end zone um, and then your second kick might be a little pooch punt from halfway it's just it's yeah obviously you got to wait and see how things go and just um, be prepared for all scenarios I guess take it game by game you mentioned that Cameron Johnston is a guy that you've gotten to know. What is his advice been? I mean, has Cam been able to, to mentally help give you an idea of what to expect? Yep. No, Cam's um, been great. Like I said, I've, I've been in contact with Cam for a little bit. And, um, yeah, I'm sure I'll get to meet him once I, once I get over to the States and, and um, yeah, keep and pick his brain once I get over, I guess. And, um, yeah, he's been awesome. Uh, he said to prepare myself. Um, it's going to be obviously a mental challenge as well as um, not just on the football field, in the weight room and, and studying classes and whatnot and, and media and everything else as well, which is a bit different for obviously someone like myself. So I'm um, just getting prepared as best as possible while I'm still over here before I get to come over and, and um, yeah, just being as ready as possible for when it comes time to um, get on the flight and, and um, come over to Columbus. Do you have an idea what you want to study in school? I mean, is that something you've even thought about in the last few years? Yeah, so I've looked into um, obviously some of the majors that are offered and um, I was looking at the sports industry, which I, I believe is pretty popular uh, major. Again, I've always wanted to be involved in sport and, and play sport at the highest level. And, and if I'm not playing, I'll, yeah, I still want to be involved, whether it's in a front office somewhere or, or coaching down the track or whatever it is. And yeah, I feel like something like that can give me a good opportunity, obviously with the background of having such a, a big school um, at, at my back, I guess it's, it's uh, pretty yeah, exciting and, and gives me great opportunity, I guess, to uh, um, have a, a good career going forward past football. Ohio State uh, has a kind of a reputation with its specialists. The guys are, are always a little bit unique, okay? They, they have weird, weird talents. They, they're very um, affable and very fun-loving with the media. Is there anything about you, Jesse, that you do, like uh, Drew Chrisman, the punter now, is like a w world-renowned bottle flipper. Uh, I mean, he does yeah. all these. What do you do? What, what, what does Jesse Mirko do um, outside of the pitch uh, or outside of football yeah. now to, to cut loose? 
Yeah, um, so I enjoy uh, fishing and whatnot and going to the beach over here on the west coast where I'm from. Obviously, it's, it's pretty good weather normally, sunshine and beaches and whatnot and love being around the water. And uh, I enjoy playing a bit of PlayStation every now and then when I get a chance, um, whether it's yeah, Madden, uh, NBA, uh, NHL as well. I enjoy the hockey. So a uh, bit, bit of everything, to be honest. Um, Probably a bit of a funny one. I, I enjoy a bit of country music, a bit of American country music, which most people probably wouldn't uh, expect being an Australian over here and, and whatnot, a young guy, but um, that's probably a funny little one for, for people. Is but, that because of Keith Urban or is there someone else that you uh, like? No, nah, not really. Um, I don't mind a couple of these songs, but um, no, nah, just, I don't know. I've grown up, a mum and dad are a little bit of fans and um, a few of the other boys in Pro Kick. Um, yeah, enjoy getting around it as well. and. Um, yeah, like I said, on my recent trip to America, I got to visit Nashville, which was pretty awesome for that as well. And um, yeah, I, I, that's probably one of the little quirky things. But apart from that, um, yeah, not so much else. How much did playing Madden help you learn American football? Um, actually, quite a bit. Obviously, there's, there's little things you just pick up as you go and um, playing again with other guys in Pro Kick in Melbourne. Um, that know other little bits and pieces and you might know a rule they don't know. They might know something you don't know and um, just, yeah, picking up things as you go, I guess. But we do, um, yeah, look into to certain things and we are taught, again, from um, Nathan and John, um, basically um, w- what to do and what not to do and um, different scenarios. If this happens, make sure you're prepared for it, etc. cetera. Um, so, yeah, we, um, we obviously, with both of those, Pairs us um, pretty well for when we get over to um, yeah get probably into it a, a little bit further. We're talking about being prepared right now. Uh, obviously, college football is in a very weird spot because of the coronavirus and the concerns of, of bugging that with the pandemic across the world. You haven't visited Ohio State. You're expected to make an official visit. I read uh, from Tia Williams of Langer and Only Land in October. Yeah. What is it that you know you hope that you gain or that you learn or that 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 visit does for you um again just visiting a city I've, I've never been i've been to america a couple of times but um yeah just get to see the city i guess um get to hopefully meet a few of the guys um i've had a couple follow me since last night obviously and obviously drew um retweeted my post and and got around me a little bit which was good um and yeah just meet a few of the guys i guess go through the facilities um get to meet the coaching staff coach day and coach barnes in person um and yeah just get a better look at everything i guess um there's only so much you can do over over zoom and whatnot but um yeah i'm looking forward to it and hopefully we can get something sorted for later in the year so i can yeah, get out and, and meet everyone most official visits are 48 hours long your flight will be yeah. half of that yeah, how, how, not- how- yeah, how how do you anticipate uh, spreading that out? Are you going to make that a week long trip where you're on campus for two days and and in Columbus just learning the city for a week? Or you're sort of in a unique position in that you don't have to go back to school on Monday. Yeah. How how do you see that working out? Is that like an extended trip for you? Yeah, again, haven't really thought about it too much, but I guess we'd um yeah work out flights and whatnot and and um how long I'll actually be on the visit for um and then yeah can work around that if if it's going to be beneficial to have another day or two um yeah I'll definitely look into it um but yeah at the moment we haven't got that far so I haven't really thought about it too much. One of the things Jesse I think is interesting is for for guys like yourself and guys in in, in your neck of the woods the world. Yeah. When, when you decide, hey, I'm going to America, I'm going to do this, how, what is your family and friends, what's the reaction? Is it like, are you serious or is it like, holy, this is great? Or how do they, how do they respond to that? And saying, you're like, going, okay, everyone, see ya, I'm out. Yeah, yeah. so mom and dad and my brother and sister have been super supportive from the start. Obviously, they've, they've known it's, yeah, it's always been in the back of my mind for the last few years to, to give it a go. And I just, like I said earlier, I didn't know what it took and, and if I was capable um, but yeah, they've been super supportive with it and obviously moving from Western Australia over to Victoria on the East Coast to train with Pro Kick um, was a big move uh, in itself. Um, that's a yeah, three and a half hour flight over there. So um, no, everyone's been super supportive. All my mates are yeah, super supportive and with the news, obviously they, they're all pretty excited to, to get on a visit themselves and, and come watch me in the future. Everyone's starting to order Ohio State football yeah. shirts and hats and... Yeah, I've had a couple couple say they've uh, they've sent me a few screenshots and, and whatnot of their shopping cart, but 
Um, yeah, that's all right. We'll, um, we'll sort something out with them. Well, look, Jesse, I, I, I know it's, we're, we're, we're significantly different here in time zones, and I wanted to thank you for taking the opportunity to sit down and talk to me. It's obviously going to be a, a wild a couple of years ahead for you, so hopefully you have a chance to catch up and get some rest before then because Ohio State football is a whole different animal. I mean, it's like the – you know, I don't know anything really about Australian English football. Who's like the biggest brand, the biggest team over there? Probably um, probably Collingwood would be up there. Um, they're in, based in Victoria where um, – I'm not sure if you know, um, Mason Cox, the American fellow, actually plays there. Um, yeah, they're pretty big. The, the main football stadium in the country, the MCG, um, holds probably about 95,000 people. So still not as big as a shoe, which is, yeah, pretty crazy and mind-blowing because I have been to the MCG for a sellout, 90, 95,000 people crowd. So it's going to be, yeah, awesome. I can't wait to get over. What's even crazier is that the Horseshoe is only the third biggest stadium in the Big Ten. <laughs> so, uh, you know, when you start to think about the scope of college football, it certainly is different. Jesse Marco, I'm Jeremy Birmingham. This has been Berman Allergy and Leather Monroe. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Monroe. We've got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buckeye Key with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Monroe.